What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to Full Court TV. It is your host, Shagoon. And we have a bunch of rumors today. Uh, so many rumors. I've actually made this video three times, man. This is the third time making this video. Essentially, each time I tried to make this video before, a new rumor would come out that would ultimately make me think okay well i want to add that into this video so now i'm gonna reshoot but there's too many rumors going on right now and it's stressing me out okay it's a lot of stress right now i mean i'm not well I'm, I'm not okay the draft is a couple days away i honestly can't even believe it and the rumors are going rampant not just with the raptors but with a lot of teams but i thought we'd take a look at some of the pressing rumors and see how we feel do a little gut check on each rumor so we want to start off oh we need to do our shout outs let's do our shout outs here big shout outs here shouts out to fiercy south sarah you're back we miss you having with the darko pickup press conference at 1 p.m today you know i checked that out uh i'm really overall Darko didn't really say much at his press conference if we being real, but I still like the energy he brought for sure. Uh, shout out to you, Fiercy. You know, you've been holding it down. You know what I'm saying? Uh, shout out to Jonathan Phillips. Glad you're back. Low bro. It's crazy. I got low bro like that. That's crazy. Uh, let's have a spicy off season. Yeah, man. I, I need to see some movement. I'm going to be honest. I need to see some movement. All right, welcome back, bro. Shout out to Ottawa. We're all one. Shouts out to you. Shouts out to the 613. Teams have been pretty worn out by talks with Toronto amid Ananobi, Siakam Buzz. Now, if we go into this rumor, this is not anything necessarily surprising. If you know anything about the Toronto Raptors, they are an organization that likes to take their time. They feel like in almost any situation, they are not in a rush to do a deal because they don't feel like there's no rush, there's no pressure. Ultimately, there's a lot of times deals don't happen unless it is incredibly in Toronto's favor. Raptors are looking for a lot for their players, as they should. You know, if a player is, if you're looking at NNOB and Siakam, two of the best players on Raptors for different reasons, you should want a lot for these players. You should not be selling these players short because other teams are on a timeline to make trades. That's just not how it should work. That being said, does it surprise me that teams are worn out by the Raptors? Not in the slightest. Let's move along to the next uh, rumor. Hawks targeting Siakam. I mean, sure. I don't know what the Hawks really have to offer. Uh, they'd have to offer their 15th, number 15 pick this year. Because I just don't see what players would the Raptors be interested in. Onyeka Okongwu, I really don't see Atlanta really trying to trade him. DeAndre Hunter, I don't, you know, how high do the Raptors view him on their list when he's a less good OG and an OB if we being real. If we being real, he's not as good as OG and we have OG. So I think the Raptors ultimately want to keep OG. There's another rumor that came out that said OG would be happy to stay in Toronto if he has a bigger role in the offense going forward. How does that happen? If Fred and Siakam are there, other guys step up the totem pole. I think the front office also wants to see Scotty take a big step and have a more involved role in the offense. How does that happen? You know, Scotty needs to be a leader. There's guys that have been there, done that. Maybe those guys are no longer there that allow Scotty to take that step. These are things that, you know, I'm sure the front office is thinking of. I don't really believe any any rumor that this is trying to state, oh, this is what the Raptors are leaning towards. I don't believe that rumor. I don't believe that rumor in the slightest. I'm gonna be super honest with y'all. Uh, shouts out to at Gary Trent Jr. Got next on Twitter uh, for providing a lot of the rumors sort of in one place for me to go look at. So I appreciate y'all. Go follow the boy or the girl. I don't know who's who's running this account. And while y'all there, go follow the boy, man. Go follow that boy. Look at that boy. Ooh, look at that boy. That's a nice picture. Shout out to my brother. He took that picture. That's a very nice picture. So this was the rumor that we're talking about where Siakam is the Blazers' primary target, but the Raptors aren't discussing any Siakam deals. Raptors were looking to trade OG. Blazers aren't trading the third pick. A lot of going on there. <laughs> a lot going on in that one tweet. I didn't even realize there was that much going on in that tweet. I could easily see Siakam being a big target for the Blazers. The only person that I can see them potentially seeing as a bigger target is Zion. And there was a rumor that Zion could very well be traded before the deadline. There was an initial rumor coming out that they said, oh, they are trying to trade him. Then the next day, a rumor was like, oh, he's not getting traded. And then the next rumor was, we expect him to be traded. So there's so much going on as far as that's concerned. I could see Zion being a player that they target higher than Pascal. Outside of that, I don't see a player they target higher than him. I think you have Pascal and Dame. You add some uh, pieces around the edges. That is a very, very good team. That is a team that that would allow Dame to be at least content with running it back another year or two, in my opinion. Um, next one, we got Michael Grange. League sources are hearing the Raptors won't trade from their core. No indication that the Raptors are even entertaining offers for Siakam at this stage. Raptors have signaled privately and publicly that they want to keep Van Vliet. Okay, a lot to break down here. 
one, everybody who saw this tweet, I feel, or saw this rumor, I should say, got instantly heated because we don't want to see the same product run back. We don't. Is a uh, head coach enough to change the whole team? You know, the whole full team. I don't believe so. There has to be major roster changes. I think there's a lot of good on this team. But I think another part of the rumor was that uh, internally the Raptors felt like they're not that different than this Miami team that just went to the finals. Um, I don't know who I have to talk to. No, this no, this team that I just watched was nothing like the Miami Heat. No, no, no. If the Raptors did nothing, if the Raptors brought their whole core together again, it would ultimately just make things difficult, I think. I think I'm leaning towards a retool. I think you keep OG, Scotty, Gary, Yak, and I think Fred and Pascal, I love them. I'd be happy to see them as Raptors, but at the same time, I'm thinking long-term health of the franchise. The amount of work we're gonna have to do to try and like stay below the salary cap after signing everybody is gonna be crazy for a team that did not make the playoffs this year. And you could say, oh yeah, with this core and now with Pirtle, we should make the playoffs next year. Okay, is this team making a real run of the chip? I don't see that right now. I see there's definitely pieces that could be there towards a run at the chip, but it's currently not the place. So yeah, I think ultimately there, there definitely needs to be some moves made there. Let's continue on here. Okay, draft prospects. We're gonna get into those videos soon. I'm gonna shoot those today and have those out for you uh, in, the, in the next day or so uh, coming out uh, before the draft. Keontae George has interest the Raptors. I think the Raptors are very happy with where they pick at number 13, which is good and dangerous at the same time. I think there's a lot of great players that they would be interested in. Uh, Keontae George being one of them, Grady Dick being another depending on if they are there. Um, so the thing about them being happy about where they are at 13 makes me feel like they m really may not feel like they have to move up. But there's so much talent in this draft, in my personal opinion, I think they should be looking at two picks, finding a way to get two picks within the top 20 of this draft. If they do that and they fulfill a guard and a shooter, which there are a good number of both of those archetypes in this draft, I think that's a successful draft. Regardless of what they do, if they trade for a top three pick, you know, I'm a Scoot Henderson believer, personally. I am very much a Scoot Henderson believer, so, you know, you could say what you want. Uh, maybe that's the incorrect move. I think this kid is special. I like his mental makeup. I like I like a lot about his game. I did not like him going back to last year. I watched a good amount of Scoot, uh, and my opinion has changed, you know, honestly. Honestly, my opinion has changed. I think it's good to be able to say you're wrong. I was wrong about Scoot. I think he could be a great player. Which then brings us to our next rumor. Oh my goodness, this rumor. Yeah, this, this rumor did something to me. Let me be real. Let me be clear and real right now. Henderson's camp will welcome the opportunity for Scoot to be the primary ball handler in Toronto, where he would succeed Fred Van Vliet, expected to leave in free agency this summer. I mean, the rumors about Fred Van Vliet, whether he's not, he's going to leave or not, is a whole other thing. He's expected to command at least $30 million a year. Yikes. I don't like that. I do not like that. I like Fred, and I like to hit... I want him to get his bag. I want Fred to get 30 mil. I think Fred is a player that deserves 30 mil. What that does in terms of we're giving all these deals to everyone, which we have a lot of good players, understandably you have to give them deals, but it's not meshing on this team. That is where I have concern over the 30 mil. It's not that Fred's not worth 30 mil or, you know, I mean, I hate Fred. No, no, no. It's not like that. It's not like that. It's not like that. I don't hate Fred. I don't love Fred. I don't hate him, though. You know what I mean? The fact that Toronto is seen as a as a good landing spot for Scoot and his his peoples, it's a good sign. It's a good sign. I'm sure he's still looking at a bunch of teams that could potentially draft him. And you're looking at Charlotte, mm, Portland. Yeah, learning under Dame, but they're still going to be Anthony Simons as of right now. Mm, you know what I mean? A team like Toronto trading in to that spot would be something that would definitely excite him. Because that would be a young team, him, Scotty, assuming OG, assuming Gary, and whatever other, other draft picks they get this year. That's a fun young core that's not like as miles away from the playoffs as like a, a Charlotte. All right, we're gonna we're gonna stop with the rumors. There's too many rumors now, man. There's so many rumors. There's so many rumors. So many rumors. What do y'all think, man? Should we make the big trade for Scoop? Should we make? Do we want to see Pascal Siakam 
Trade it for the number two and number, or number three overall pick. I don't want to. I don't want to be the person, you know, pushing anybody out the door. But these are the questions we gotta ask, and y'all don't want to ask the questions. I'm gonna ask the questions. That's gonna do it for this video, man. Uh, I got another video talking about draft prospects coming in the next day or so. We're gonna do that real quick. Appreciate y'all. Love y'all. I'll see y'all in the next one.